Now, here to help explain more about Israeli interests surrounding the Syrian civil war is Brigadier General Dr. Meir Elran, a senior researcher with the Institute for National Security Studies, and Professor Eyal Zisel, an expert on the Middle East and Africa from Tel Aviv University, and of course, ILTV's Aaron Porus. All right, so let's begin. You know, Dr. Elran, what are the Israeli priorities when going into talks with the United States? I think that Israel has three main priorities in these talks and also in general terms. The first one is uh, what's happening in Syria in the long run, mm -hmm. because uh, the situation now is, of course, quite bleak. Nobody exactly knows what's happening and what will be the outcome of what's happening. But there is a sense that there might be a change in Syria to the extent that it will warrant some kind of an understanding of what Israel should do next or what should not do next. Right. in terms of the future interests of Israel. And I think that this is the first, the first uh, uh, priority for Israel is to understand and know what we should do in terms of our basic security interests. Now, now do you think the Israeli delegation is going to push for Assad's removal? Uh, I don't think so, as a matter of fact, but I think that Israel would push to ensure the security, of, the security interests of Israel in the direct proximity of the... Uh, of the border, mm -hmm. let's say in the Syrian side of the Golan Heights, uh, for the future, because nobody knows exactly what's happening there. And most, more than that, nobody knows what will be happening there in the future, because the situation is completely under turmoil and changing constantly. So we have to know what will happen and mm -hmm. what, in what way our interests are being kept. Now, Professor Zisser, Iran is alleged to be building a missile manufacturing plant in Syria, as we heard in the news show beforehand. Do you think the U.S. or Russia is either going to attack uh, that factory, or is it going to al allow Israel or an Israeli unit to attack? No, I, I don't think that they are going to attack uh, this uh, missile factory. I don't think that they want Israel to attack this missile factory. Iranian uh, presence there is with Russia blessing. Mm -hmm. I mean, Russia allowed the Iranian to come to Syria and uh, have uh, a presence and even influence. And actually, Donald Trump gave up uh, the whole issue, uh, Syrian issue and gave Syria to the Russians. I mean, he's after ISIS. He doesn't care about Damascus, doesn't care anymore about uh, Bashar al-Assad. And as for Russia, in the long run, they might not uh, be happy about the Iranian president. But mm -hmm. for the time being, Iran is there. This is a fact. They are not going to do anything about it. They accept Israel. They expect Israel to accept it. What about what about the P5 plus one powers uh, and all the countries who are involved in the nuclear deal? Are they going to be upset or concerned about this? Is there going to be any sort of reciprocity or sanctions against Iran? No, I doubt it uh, very much. Let, let's look at what happened with North Korea. I mean, uh, the Iranians do whatever they and and, and and the world is not after Iran. Trump is you know, expressing some concern, but is doing nothing. And actually, the world is ready and actually is eager to uh, reconcile with, with Iran. The same thing will happen with Bashar al-Assad once the war in Syria comes to an end. So this is really another reason. I said three reasons. One is the Syrian context. The other one is the Iranian context. Mm -hmm. And I think that uh, Professor Zisser is, of course, absolutely right in presuming that uh, Iran, for Israel, is a red flag. And uh, Israel uh, will do anything to uh, tarnish the position of uh, Iran. And here is another case. Okay, it's not just the nuclear uh, threat. There's also the, search, the Iranian search for hegemony and the uh, violent search for hegemony partly also in Syria. So this is another interest for us, and there is a third one which I'm going to talk about later on, if you uh, ask yeah, me. Yeah, unfortunately, we, we've run out of time, but I think we have to bring you two back here, because this is an issue that we can delve a lot deeper into, okay, clearly. Okay, let's do that. All right.